So on your lower three point arm allows you to extend. All right, this is my idea. No idea how it's gonna work. Moment of truth, this is usually where I end up turning the camera off. To be able to just hit reverse, these will lock back. Hey guys, Capra here, welcome back. Have you ever wondered what this lower three point link extension is for? You know, where your three point, your class one or your class two connector goes in. If you've ever used a tractor, you know that hooking up the three point implements can be quite challenging, whether you have a quick attach or not. Coyote tractors allow you to extend this out several inches and if you ever wondered what good that is for, I'm gonna show you on today's episode. So I'm gonna show you two very recent examples of how I use these extending three-point links to make life a little bit easier for the new Coyote tractor. I'll show you how it works, and then I'll show you how you could use it to make things easier to hook up three-point attachments. So on your lower three-point arms, you know, where you attach your lower two points of your implements, there's a spring-loaded lever here, if you will that allows you to extend this lower three-point arm out. All right, just saved a lot of sweat labor right there. This is to make hooking up implements easier for you. And I gotta be honest with you, I haven't used it as far as I can remember, although it's been a number of years, but I used it in this particular instance and it actually worked out quite well. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't see how it could stand on its own. I'm gonna just lean it against this trailer. You could see there's a crimper wheel at the bottom. So I'm gonna um, lean it against my trailer here and then I'm gonna to attempt to hook onto it with the class two uh, three point arms on my new NS6010. So this should be interesting, another first time experiment. All right, this is my idea. No idea how it's gonna work. I'm gonna to try to lean it up. I backed up to where I think I'm going to be close. I might come a few more inches, but let's see what happens. Not too terribly bad right here. All right, that one's in. I'll try to get the other one. Right now, I have these arms extended out. Oh, look at that. All right. I should be able to just hit reverse, and it'll, these, these will lock back into place. So on this first try, I'm gonna hit reverse, and you're gonna see they kind of bind up a little bit. And then I went ahead and raised them three-point arms just a little. There we go. All right, and there she is. That actually went pretty smooth. I guess when you do it long enough, you eventually learn something. Okay, moment of truth. This is usually where I end up turning the camera off. Okay, so my recent second instance when I use these, you can actually pull them out. If you pull the, the keepers and the pins, you could pull the, those lower three-point arms out when you're installing a quick attach. So basically, I pulled them out, and they are now connected inside of the quick attach at the base. And it's going to make it a lot easier to mount this quick attach as opposed to trying to mount it while them lower three-point arms are still on the tractor. It made it a lot easier to get this three-point mounted. All right, so this particular attachment ended up working. It made it a lot easier to hook it up than many implements in the past by using these telescoping links if you will on the coyote tractor so thanks for joining us i hope this helps you out in the field and definitely stay tuned for some of our future episodes we've got a lot of stuff in the hopper 
between our uh, regular Illinois farm and our investment property, Project 291, over at Capper Outdoors 2.0. So I hope to see you on some future projects. Until next time, be safe on your tractors and best wishes. Thanks a lot.